very easy to just start out as hey I'm just doing this mm. for fun it's something that keeps me you know keeps my time busy mm. but now there's now the, the aspect of it's become a serious mm. business it's now time for me to think about things like finances yes. uh, the way forward yeah. expansion mm. and so and so forth so how was that transition like for you I wasn't conscious of it as it was happening mm. so it kind of happened organically but also with a bit of intention behind it because I was aware of the fact that I didn't have a job mm. and so I remember just as COVID was starting to like the restrictions were starting to open up there was a market that was happening those pop-up markets mm. that was happening in Karen and so when I started I was like you know what the worst that can happen is I hang out a whole day amongst other creatives mm. so I applied and they were like yeah can you come and I was like, what? Yeah. And so then, you know, it was that, like, a bit of validation there. Uh, so it gave me the courage to, like, step out. So I stepped out in the market. I sold a lot, which I didn't expect. I honestly felt like, was it one, two, or, mm -hmm. you know, I, I had no expectations. And yeah. I think that the, 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 um, the beauty of being naive in a situation is the bravery that comes with that. Yes. When you don't know what to fear, like, you fear nothing. Mm -hmm. And so I did that market, it did well. And then it was like, oh, okay. So, and then during the market, I made promises to people for like someone wanted this, someone wanted that. Mm -hmm. And so like, oh, no, now I'm like putting myself out there more. Yeah. Um, so I created a separate page for Mokomaya and then slowly just started selling through online because we were still not completely open. With time now, I feel like my transition has been continuous. I'm st I feel like I'm still transitioning yes. in one way or another. So... For instance, last year I kind of invested a bit more in my professional development when it comes to running a business. Mm -hmm. So when you ask about how has that transition been, that was like a milestone in the fact that I've never thought about the intricacies of running a business the right way. Mm -hmm. And so that class and that study allowed me to start to see what I was lacking in and where I needed to put my energy. So was that a refine? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Awesome. Yeah. And what exactly are the products you deal with? You've, you've mentioned it's handcrafted goods. Yes. You've mentioned cutting glass bottles. Yes. So in my mind, I'm already picturing a lot of DIY going yes. on. So if you'd like to expound mm. on the many things yes. that you specialize in. So our entry into the market was cut bottles. Mm. So cut bottles that can be converted, that are converted into drinking glasses, into carafes for serving your drinks, into platters that you can use for serving snacks. Mm. And then along the way we started creating, I'm a creative by nature. I went to school for a bachelor in fine arts. Mm. So my degree is in fine arts. And so I started using more and more of what skills I had. I started creating mirrors for the walls. Some of them are custom where people say I have this space and I want a mirror that fits this space. And then some of them we create and sell to a person that sees it and likes it. Mm. We do things that help you be a bit more organized in the home like door wall hooks for your keys and for your belts and those type of things. Mm -hmm. We are currently in the middle of developing the next step of products. Yeah, so this coming March, we have like a bunch of products that are launching mm -hmm. that are going to be more focused in the home beyond just organizing because most of the stuff we have right now will organize either your table, your garden. Mm -hmm. um, but now we are going more into a wider scope of products. So yeah, those are kind of like what we currently do mm -hmm. and with the, the vision to develop more as we go. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That is so awesome. Thank you. And you have mentioned it's handcrafted. Goods, yes. So there's a lot of investment especially when it comes to time yes. and energy and you have to make sure no matter the volume mm. of goods that you have to produce everything has to be perfected yes. that human touch to it yeah. so now given that how do you now compete against mass produced products mm. there are people who have machines they rely mm. on there are people who have you know systems in yes. place to make sure ah human resource is not yes. that big